Russell Brand. Do you think Russell Brand is innocent or guilty? Anyone want to tell me, innocent or guilty, Russell Brand? What do you think, sir? I think he's a brat, but I don't know if that makes him guilty. Okay, so you're not sure, okay? Anyone else? So you won't buy it. Do you think Russell Brand? Guilty. Guilty? You think he's guilty? This one thinks he's guilty, okay? Anyone else? Russell Brand, innocent or guilty? I'd like to ask that woman who said he's guilty. Do you think Russell Brand is worthy of going in one of these places, in one of these prisons? What's your name, sir? Sorry. Dean. 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 That's exactly why we trust Jesus. That's why I don't trust Muhammad. I don't trust in Buddha. I don't trust in Gandhi. Because Jesus Christ, he rose from the dead. If you died and then three days later came back from the dead, Dean, I'd follow you. I'd worship you. But you won't do it. And that's why we put our trust in the only man. God, does God like that? Do you think God likes that? Yeah, but God gave us something called freedom of will. Okay, is that your girlfriend then, if you don't want me asking? Your daughter. Your daughter, sorry. You just look very young, sorry. <laughs> I'm not doing very well. You just look like a very young man. Maybe I'm giving you a compliment there, I don't know. But the point is this, listen. If, you, if I've got a wife, I'm married, I want my wife to choose to love me out of the freedom of her choice, okay? She has the choice to love me or to reject me. And God has given you that same choice. You can choose to love him, choose to reject him. And sadly, I'm forgiven. But listen, here's the point, okay? So those people, who, those crimes, those men that we talked about there, those wicked people, they have the choice to either obey God and follow his rules, or they have the choice to go their own way. But one day, here's the big thing, okay? They will be punished. If you're an atheist, I don't know if you are. But what, you say that everyone gets forgiven? No, I'm not saying that. This is it. This is it. If you're an atheist... Well, it says in the Bible. No, it doesn't say that in the Bible. It says be better for you than you've never been born. Are you an atheist, Dean, can I ask you? So what would your answer be to a man like Jimmy Savile? Yeah but, yeah, but Jimmy Savile died, he never got punished in this life, and now people would say, well, he's got away from it. Because people, well, exactly, but if I believe in the afterlife, I know in my book, the Bible, it says that Jimmy Savile, for all of eternity, will be burning in hell, and will have uh, justice. And that's why I can, uh, I know that there is a God of justice. And that's what I'm trying to get you to think about these things. And in your heart right now, you have a desire for justice because God has written that heart upon you. Now here's a bigger question. Do you recognize the prison in all of us? All of us are imprisoned by something. And if I asked you now, what is it you're imprisoned by? What might you say? Maybe it's an addiction that you've got. You cannot break that addiction. It doesn't matter how hard. Maybe you're imprisoned by a broken heart. Someone's broken you. Maybe you're imprisoned by a painful past. Do you know there's one chain that binds us all? There's one thing that we're all imprisoned by. Do you know what it is? Gans with D. Death. 10 out of 10 people die. Every single one of us will one day step into a grave and that's it. Our life on earth is over. And my question to you is, do you have an answer for that day? When you walk into eternity, are you ready for that day when you, make, you meet your God? Because here's the good news. There is always good news and it's this. Jesus said, if the Son sets you free, you shall be free indeed. Isn't that wonderful news? This thing that we all fear, death, all of these things. Because Jesus Christ died and then rose from the dead, do you know what that means? It means that we have a chance to have our death beaten and forgiveness of sins. Anyway, I'm going to finish, but I just want to offer anyone a free portion of the Bible. If you want one, don't say it's a load of rubbish without reading it first. It's yours if you want to read it. Have a think about these things. Anyone else offering anything free on the streets of Southport? This is the best thing you can take. If anyone wants one, come and, come and take it from my hand.